In this video, I'm gonna show you three different ways to control your ATEM Mini wirelessly with an iPad. Hi, I'm Aaron Parecki. I've been using the ATEM Mini and other ATEM switchers for about eight years now. Only until a couple of years ago, there was really only one game in town for controlling an ATEM from an iOS device, and that was the Strata apps. Things have gotten a lot better since then, and there are some pretty great new developments in the world of video production with iOS devices. So let's dive in. Before we look at any of the apps, I need to explain a little bit about networking. In order to use any of these with your ATEM Mini or other ATEMs, you'll need to have everything connected to the same network. That means you'll need to plug the ATEM into your network and also make sure that your iPad is on Wi-Fi that's on the same network. This isn't particularly complicated, but it is worth pointing out because otherwise none of this will work. If you're using your ATEM in your studio, this is pretty normal to have everything just on one network. But if you're using your ATEM in a portable rig out on a job where you're connecting to somebody else's network or Wi-Fi, then you'll want to bring your own router with you. That way you can keep all of your devices on your own local network. Basically treat the venue's internet connection the same as you would be treating your home cable or fiber internet. So you bring your own router and then broadcast your own Wi-Fi hotspot from there. And that way you won't risk the venue's network causing problems for your gear or having to reassign IP addresses and all that kind of stuff. So once your gear is all on the same network, let's dive into the apps. First, I wanna talk about Mix Effect. This is an incredible iOS app that can control every ATEM switcher and it can run on an iPad and an iPhone. The developer is super responsive to feedback and keeps up on all the latest ATEM models and even goes well above and beyond just recreating the ATEM software control interface. Once you've installed this app, you can connect to an ATEM switcher from this screen. It will try to discover ATEMs on the network just like the ATEM software control on your computer. Once it's connected, you have a whole list of menu options along this side. The switcher tab is the traditional buttons to control program and preview, but there's a lot more this app can do. I'm actually not gonna go into the full details of every feature of this app because that would turn this into a 45 minute long video. Plus the developer has some great tutorial videos on his own YouTube channel, so I'll link to that below as well. If you have an ATEM Mini Extreme or Constellation 2ME and above, you have a feature in the ATEM called SuperSource. This is a feature that lets you create these side-by-side -side or four-up layouts. It is a really powerful feature and it's a great reason to go with an ATEM Mini Extreme over the smaller ATEM Minis. But it is always awkward to create these layouts because in the software control app on the computer, you just get these little boxes to type in numbers. Now, John Barker from Here to Record did create a tool to create these layouts, which definitely helps. But the way it works is you kind of have to plan your layouts ahead of time in order to use it. With Mix Effect, you can quickly adjust your super source layouts on the fly just by dragging the boxes around on the screen. And you can even animate between these layouts just by tapping them. It really makes managing super source a lot easier. There's also the really cool video follows audio feature where you can have it automatically switch cameras based on who is talking. It takes a little bit to set this up, but you can turn on VFA for specific angles. You can choose an angle you want to switch to when nobody is talking, and then it just works automatically. I'll link to an older live stream I did with the developer of this app to demonstrate this in action. That way you can see it in a real life setting. So these are just a couple features of Mix Effect that make it really cool. The next app I want to talk about is called Live App Pro. It's a little bit hard to search for on the App Store, so make sure you follow the link from the description below. Live App isn't exactly a generic ATEM controller app, but it also has a couple of really neat features too. This first tab over here is the Switcher tab, and this is a pretty straightforward interface for controlling the program and preview sources. But where this app gets really interesting is the Video Queue Overlay and Draw tabs. The Video Queue tab is a great way to play back recorded videos into your ATEM. The Overlay tab brings in browser sources, that way you can use web-based programs like H2R Graphics or even My Live Chat Overlay extension. And the Draw tab lets you draw on top of your video with your finger or an Apple Pencil. Now, of course, to use these, you'll need to get the video out of the iPad somehow. And of course, the best way is to use an HDMI dongle from the iPad into the ATEM. But wait, doesn't that make it not wireless anymore? And wasn't wireless control the whole point of this video? Well, sort of. Definitely the most reliable connection is a wired HDMI connection, but it also does technically work over AirPlay to an Apple TV. So if you have an Apple TV connected to your ATEM, you can then wirelessly share the iPad screen to the Apple TV and the whole app works just the same. Of course, you are at the mercy of your Wi-Fi connection for this. So make sure you're close to your access point and don't try to do this on a conference Wi-Fi. But anyway, I wanna show you a bit about how these other tabs work. The Video Queue tab lets you create playlists of pre-recorded clips for your shows. This could be sponsor segments that you're inserting into your live stream, or it could be pre-recorded B-roll you wanna show, or even an intro or an outro segment. In the settings tab, 
you tell the app which input it's connected to on the ATEM. Once this is set up, as soon as you switch on the ATEM to the iPad's input, the app will start playing the video that's queued up. When the video clip is done, it will then automatically switch back to the preview, or you could even hard code it to switch back to a certain camera angle. This is so much simpler than other ways of handling video playback, like doing all this with a HyperDeck. The Draw tab is also pretty cool. This lets you just sketch over your video. The app will actually go configure your keyers properly to make this work, and then you can choose whether you want to use an upstream or downstream key for this in the settings. And then just tap this output button. It's gonna go set all those properties in the ATEM and bring it on air. And now you can just draw on this box and see it on the stream. If you wanna be fancy, you can press this capture button, which will grab a still frame of whatever's on your program video, and it'll save that into the app. And that way you can line up your drawing with your video a lot better. The overlay tab lets you bring in a browser source into the ATEM. It will also use the upstream or downstream keyers. For example, I can take my live chat overlay plugin that's on the Chrome store. That's this extension that gives you a pop-out chat window you can use to show live stream comments. So click this get overlay URL in the extension, copy that into the browser source in live app. And when you bring that on air, now, as soon as you click a chat message, it'll pop up in the iPad and of course, out the HDMI into the ATEM. So these are some pretty cool features. And if you want this to be wireless, you can share your iPad screen to an Apple TV. I definitely recommend picking up an Apple TV for stuff like this. It's just really useful to have in a pinch. Okay, lastly, I wanna talk about Companion. This one is a bit more involved because it's not actually an iPad app. Companion is software you run on a computer, either your desktop or you can run it on a Raspberry Pi. The software can control a whole bunch of different devices, not only ATEMs, but its main purpose is to let you use the Elgato Stream Deck to control everything. The Stream Deck is great, and I have two in my studio that I use all the time. You get these pages of buttons and you can customize really everything, the colors, the text. Now, the Stream Deck is obviously separate hardware to buy, and it is a USB device that plugs into the computer running Companion. So how do you make this wireless? Well, the Companion software also has a web-based emulator. So you can load that web page on your iPad, and now you get this screen on your iPad that looks kind of like the Stream Deck buttons and it works exactly the same way. You can press the virtual buttons on the iPad to control all the various devices. And this is super handy if you want the most flexible control options and want to be wireless. Because this can control so much more than the ATEM, it is a really great tool to have set up in your studio. It is quite a lot more work to get going because you have to install the software on your computer or a Raspberry Pi first, but once it's set up, it's a great way to use a Stream Deck to control everything around you, and you can build some really powerful automations. And of course, if you want it to be wireless, you can then load up the page of buttons on your iPad. So let me know down in the comments which of these three is your favorite, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.